Cinema 5D at IBC 2016 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Hedge for Mac, the fastest way to back up media. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And F&V, bright ideas. So, hello Mike, we're here at the Ari booth and uh, there seems to be a lot of fuss about these new lights that you have. Can you tell us a little bit about what this uh, new light is about? Sure, yeah, so this is uh, part of our Sky Panel line of series. And the Sky Panel is an LED soft light. Uh, it's a really bright LED soft light as well. Uh, it's an RGB light, so we have full tunability. We could go from 2800 to 10,000 degrees Kelvin. We have plus and minus green correction, and we also have hue and saturation control. Uh, we did a firmware update at NAB this year that also allows us to select gels. So we actually have pre-programmed in Roscoe and Lee digital gels into the fixture, and you could do things like CTBs and CTOs and all the other kind of party colors that you have there. Um, so one of the core aspects of the sky panel is that it's a, it's a soft light. It's got a beautiful soft beam of light that really replicates the soft light that everyone is used to from tungsten sources. So that was something that was really important to us, to get a really good quality of light, not just a lot of light, but have that light be good quality. Um, and it, to get that as well, for a soft light, one of the most important things is to have a large aperture. Something that we really stressed when we re uh, launched our S60 and our S30 model was that even though the form factor was small, we still wanted to have a large aperture size for that form factor because a larger aperture is always better for soft lights. It wraps around people's faces nicer. You could light a larger area and all those things. And at IBC this year, we're announcing the S120C. So the S120C is basically twice the length of the S60. It has the same output, uh, or a little bit brighter actually, but at the same power consumption as the S60, a little bit brighter, uh, and has a much longer form factor. To, again, to emphasize the fact that larger aperture is usually better. Um, and of course, the S6, S120 has all the same great features, the same great tunability as the S60 and the S30 as well. I remember last year at IBC, I passed this corridor here and I saw the S60 and it was so bright. It was a soft light, but extremely bright. So this really caught my attention. And I hear that the S120 has the exact same output, although it's twice the size. Why is that? Yeah, so that's a good point. So the reason why we did that actually was because we listened to our customers. So a lot of our customers were saying that the S60 is so bright that you don't need to go brighter than that. We have got, we've got plenty of juice there. We just need, a, we want a larger aperture. Again, about that soft light, you know, you could use one of these lights. If I was to put it horizontally here, I could light my entire face just with one fixture. And so that really goes to show you that a large aperture truly does make a difference when it comes to soft lights. And so that was, we kind of reacted off of that. We said, okay, you know, we have the technology already that we developed for the S60. Let's just stretch it out, make it uh, longer, have all that same great tunability, that high color rendition, have all those features just in a bigger format. So will there be a second version, like a S240 in the future with a brighter output? I mean, we're always looking at new things. I mean, honestly, it depends on what our customers ask us for. We really try to react to what the market wants. Um, we try to listen. We don't try to, uh, you know, kind of just invent things that maybe no one wants. We want to give uh, things to people that they're going to use a lot, that are going to be useful for them on set, that are going to help them do their job better. Um, so. Uh, it's definitely possible. I mean, certainly, you know, the technology is, uh, uh, is scalable, um, so it's possible. We just have to see what the right thing to do is. Cool. What's uh, the price and availability of the S120? Yeah, so the S120 will be shipping this month in September, uh, and the price is uh, 5,690 euros. It's only 1,000 euros more than the S60, so even though it's twice the length, getting twice the aperture, we're not charging twice as much. The other important thing actually to mention is that it's not twice the weight as the S60. So even though it's twice as long, it's actually only two kilograms heavier than the S60. And that was something that was really important to us. You know, one of the problems with if you made this twice as bright, it would be twice as heavy. And then it wouldn't be a really useful light on set. You know, it would be really difficult to cart around. And the S60 is a little bit on the heavier side as well because we've got so much features packed into it. Um, and that's the reason why it's a little bit heavy. But, you know, you really get a lot out of these fixtures, then they're very, very versatile. Uh, you know, you can imagine having a very large rig of these. Um, you could change the color temperature of all of them instantly, or you could actually pixel map, the, pixel, pixel map them and have control over each individual light to do something different. And that's a really powerful thing that, uh, that our customers have really been enjoying. Okay. Cool. Sounds really interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks.